Hey guys, welcome back to the Whimsical Workshop. I got in the mail my second clue for the mystery quilt we're doing with cotton cuts. So let's open this up and see what we're doing this month. Yay! All right, so if you followed along last month, let me show you what you did. Uh, last month we got opened it up. It was the very first tr uh, clue. I am doing the Abel Skeever colorway. This is a mystery quilt that each month we get a clue and in the end we're going to have this big quilt we have put together but we don't know what it looks like. Um, I have never done a mystery quilt before. I thought I would sew this along with you guys so you could see and experience a mystery quilt without having to do one yourself. But if you want to join me this is being put on by Cotton Cuts. They are not sponsoring this video. I am just a paid customer like everybody else I just wanted to share it with you so last month we got our swatch page which we will need to keep through the whole thing we got some uh, an oops kit in case we make any mistakes there's a whole page of tips and tricks on doing the mystery quilt um, and then you can join their Facebook group so far, I have to be say I'm very impressed with their contact, their interaction, trying to get you in with the community and doing this. Um, and so then we've got their fall one is going to open in May. So if you don't want to do this one and you want to jump into the next one, it'll be in a few months. Um, and so for the first month, we got our pieces. They're all cut for you. And I went ahead and sewed my first clue which was, I think there were eight of those and two of these or something. And there it is. So those were from last month. Now, um, one of the viewers pointed out to me very, very kindly to make sure I label these as to what units they are. So this, these are 1A, these are 1B, because she has done a mystery quilt and she said at the end, the directions tell you to sew 1A to 1B and so on and so forth. But after 10 months, I'm gonna have so many of these. So I'm gonna make sure I go ahead and label these as I go. So my assembly will be easier at the end. So thank you for that tip. Um, and I will label these before I stash them back in their bag. But on to what we got this month. All right, so in this one, we have everything out of there. So in here should be my next clue. And see how all the pieces come? They're all beautifully cut and laid out. I have to say I'm doing another one, um, which is a paper piecing block of the month. That one has so much more prep work because I have to cut my own pieces um, and it is paper piecing, so in, it is more involved. Where this one is like, I pop it open and in like an hour I have everything sewn. So I have to say it's speedy. So far the pieces have been super accurate. Uh, so let's see what else we've got this time. So we got a booster delivery. Keep taking my glasses off. Uh, they have an exclusive shop for their members full of notions and gifts ranging all the way from straight pins to playing cards. Um, you can add any of these to your order and they will ship for, f they ship for free. So the shipping is free, not the item is free. Uh, this way you don't have to worry about paying for shipping for small items. We'll just tuck it in your box. All you need is to head to the shop and pur purchase your boosted items and we'll add them to your next shipment. So they make it really easy to spend money, which is always a nice thing. Uh, options change every month. So um, the items are first come first serve, so don't delay and they tell you where to go to do that, which is very, very nice. Uh, they have this little color card challenge. Hang on, let me show you. Last month was my first box and I didn't quite get everything that was in it, but there was this little card. It was a block of the month. And on the back, they had us color. It says, post your completed coloring sheet by March 15th and use their hashtag for a chance to win the prize. So I've gone ahead and colored in my little hearts and I posted it and good luck for me on Monday. Maybe I'll win a prize. So they did the same thing this month. They gave you another cute little block pattern and I can sit there and color out a design and post this one by April 15th, which is like, it's super fun, it's super easy. I don't have to sew anything. Um, and again, these are great little flip cards or cheater cards for blocks. So if you're looking for some block ideas, they're giving them to you. So now we have our clue number two. Looks like that. 
lots of triangles and lots of squares. Um, just like last month, I'm gonna go through, I will count up my pieces and make sure I have all the right pieces I need. Um, and they give you that information like right there. And then I have the directions on the back. It tells you how to make them. And we are making four. Yes, we are making four of the same block. So I'm gonna get it sewn together and then I will show you what it looks like at the end. I am not going through a tutorial on this because this is not my project, but I am gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done. And then we can wrap up the video for this month. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, here it is. This is the second clue to our mystery quilt, all done and sewn together. The directions are great. Um, they give you pressing direction. They clarify what part goes where. And as long as you keep your key from the very first month, you are good to go. So until next month, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified each time we drop a video. Have a good day.